collect a soil sample with the 250 milliliter sampling ring. You can use either an intact core or a repacked core. Turn the sample upside down and remove the bottom cap. Cover the sample with cheesecloth and the perforated plastic cap. Now remove the cap from the top of the sample. Place it in a bucket and fill with water to just below the top of the ring, allowing the sample to saturate from the bottom up. Leave it overnight. When handling the tensiometers, avoid getting oil from your skin on the ceramic tip. Use gloves or the silicone handling tube. The key to the rest of the preparation is ensuring that all dissolved air is removed from your water. To do this, plug the syringe with your thumb and apply a vacuum. You can see air bubbles form in the water. Shake, flick, and roll the syringe to let the air bubbles escape. Reapply vacuum several times until no more air bubbles form. Holding the syringe vertically, push out all the air so that a dome of water covers the tip. Insert the tensiometer into this dome. Degas water in another syringe and connect it to the tensiometer tube. Now apply vacuum to this second syringe so that any air bubbles in the ceramic tip are pulled out through the tube. Repeat this process for the second tensiometer and leave the assembly overnight. The acrylic chamber is for degassing the water inside the high prop. Degas 15 milliliters of water and use a droplet syringe to add it to the inner chamber. Degas 10 milliliters more, then attach and fill the blue tube. Insert the other end of the tube into the acrylic chamber. Apply tension. Release the water into the chamber. Empty the syringe of air again and apply vacuum one final time. Leave overnight. The next day, take the tension off the degassing chamber slowly. If you move too quickly, the syringe can snap back and damage the pressure transducers. Check that there are no bubbles. Remove the degassing chamber from the high prop base. There should be about one millimeter of water on the sampling base and around the chambers. Now connect the base to the computer and start Tensio View. This lets you monitor pressure as you screw in the tensiometers. Your goal now is to connect the tensiometer to the high prop without trapping any air. If you're careful, you should be able to do so without much difficulty. Start by using the droplet syringe to put a nice film of degassed water on the tensiometer. Slide the tensiometer into the port at an angle so the meniscus touches the water before the tube itself does. Slowly and smoothly start screwing the tensiometer into the port. Once the rubber gasket touches the base, slow down and watch the screen to make sure the pressure stays under 2000 hectopascals. Now cap the tensiometers to keep them from drying out. Back to the soil core. Remove it from the water and let it drain freely for 5 to 10 minutes. As it's draining, you can check the tensiometer's response in Tensio view by gently touching the tips with a paper towel. Remember to wet them back up again and recap. Carefully flip the soil sample over and remove the cheesecloth. Mark tensiometer positions with the template. Use the auger to remove a core for each tensiometer, remembering which hole belongs to the taller tensiometer. Place the silicone ring on the high prop base. Uncap the tensiometers, wet the tips one final time, and then invert the high prop base as you carefully slide the tensiometers into the soil core. You're ready to start the moisture release curve. Set the soil sample assembly on the teared balance. Now click on Start Campaign in Tensio View. Let the high prop do the rest. A single moisture release curve takes between two days and one week to complete. Up to 20 samples can be run at one time using available extension kits. That's all you need to know to get started. Let us know if you have any questions about using your high prop.